and looks super clean, no streaks or residue. Ready for the new thermal paste. Take your thermal compound of choice. In this case, I have Arctic Silver 5. There are different methods or styles of application, but today we're going to be using the classic dot or P method. If you've never applied compound before, don't be afraid to have a test run on some paper towel. Now apply a small amount to the middle of the CPU. If it's the size of one of the capacitors surrounding the CPU, around that size, it doesn't have to be perfect, then you're probably good like I have here. That should be just enough. So you don't want to apply too much though. It can actually spill over from the sides of the CPU in the cooler, which can cause some issues. Like at the very least, it'll be a mess to clean up when you finally replace it. And at the worst, it could be creating shorts within your system and actually fry your board. So you don't want that happening. But anyways, if it looks anything like this, you're ready to put the cooler back on.